As a child on a farm in Finley, New Jersey, John F. Scottipa learned the value of hard work at an early age. Following the death of his father, Frank Scottipa, when he was five, young John lived with his mother Edith and four siblings on the family's farm. His mother owned and managed a motel in nearby Wildwood, New Jersey. His mother, whose maiden name was Favretto, and grandparents Antonio and Rufina Scarpa, hailed from Italy. Mr. Scarpa estimates the family arrived at Ellis Island via steerage in 1911. After moving to Vila, New Jersey, his grandfather and great-uncle Joseph built a family chapel dedicated to St. Barbara. That remains in use today. For John, his family's dedication to each other cemented such key values as a solid work ethic, putting family first, and helping others. He met another key to his future, his wife, Jana Roan Scarpa, while growing up in Vineland. The daughter of family friends, Jana worked as a flight attendant. His family also includes daughters Sherry Lance and Danielle Harrington, sons-in-law Adam Lance and Peter Harrington, and four grandchildren Jessica and Gabrielle Lance and PJ and Jill Harrington. In 1965, Mr. Scarpa's career began with the cable television industry in New Jersey, owning a number of cable television systems throughout the Northeast. He also was one of the primary motivating forces in establishing the New Jersey Cable Television Association and served on the board of the National Cable Television Association in Washington, D.C. Through his work in cable, John learned about the burgeoning cellular telephone industry. Enthralled, he sold all of his cable television companies in 1982 to co-found the first publicly traded cell phone company, American Cellular Network Corporation, along with Sam Aziz. Licensed to operate in the northeastern United States, it was the first regional cellular network in the country connecting New York, New Jersey, and Delaware. The company was sold to Comcast Corporation in 1988. In 1990, he co-founded Unitel Wireless Communications along with Michael Aziz, through which they acquired, built, and managed cellular markets in Colorado, Ohio, Michigan, Texas, Georgia, and South Dakota. Unitel cellular markets were sold to various telecommunication companies in the late 1990s. Additionally, Mr. Scarpa served as a national chairman of the board of directors of the Telecator Network of America and vice president of the National Cellular Telephone Paging and Internet Association, both based in Washington, D.C. Demonstrating tremendous generosity, John founded the John F. Scarpa Foundation, through which he has provided assistance to the fields of education, health care, and disadvantaged families. In 2002, he received the United Way Alexis de Tocqueville National Award and currently serves on the board of directors of the United Way of Palm Beach County, Florida and the board of the Palm Beach Community Chest. Mr. Scarpa is also chairman of the Palm Beach Police Foundation. He is the principal benefactor of the South Jersey Healthcare Capital Campaign for the development of New Jersey's newest and most modern hospital. Thanks to his support of the South Jersey Healthcare Foundation, the Frank and Edith Scarpa Regional Cancer Pavilion in Violin, New Jersey offers state-of-the-art treatment options and cancer research. In May 2005, Mr. Scarpa received an honorary doctorate of humane letters from the American University in Rome. A long-standing friend of Villanova University School of Law, Mr. Scarpa established the John F. Scarpa Chair in Catholic Legal Studies and was the key to the creation of the first such chair in American legal education. Each year, the university's law school hosts the Scarpa Conference as a continuing education program. In 2007, Justice Antonin Scalia was the keynote speaker. Mr. Scarpa is the major benefactor of St. Augustine Preparatory School in Richland, New Jersey, and a significant supporter of Bishop McHugh Regional Catholic School in Cape May County, New Jersey. He provided the funding for the Edith Favretto Scarpa Building for Arts and Sciences at St. Augustine Prep School. His siblings, Anthony J. Scarpa, Rose Giordano, Angelina Giacomelli, and Joseph Scarpa attended the dedication. In his spare time, Scarpa partners with longtime friend and Super Bowl winning coach Dick Vermeil to operate a small winery in the Napa Valley, producing the Jean-Louis Vermeil label Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Chardonnay, and Zinfandel under the oversight of winemaker Paul Smith. Mr. Scarpa also possesses an airline transport pilot's license. He logs about 120 hours of flight time each year and enjoys flying his own business jet. Beyond education, Mr. Scarpa encourages young people to become familiar with their heritage and roots. You must learn the Italian culture in order to begin to learn who you are and who your family were and are, he notes. This is the basis of a wonderful life. In recognition of his outstanding achievements and contributions and the honor he brings to our heritage, NIAF salutes Mr. John F. Scarpa recipient of the NIAF Special Achievement Award for Entrepreneurial Spirit.